cold out of here. Yuck. It's like 5.20 in the morning. We're getting ready to go. That's mountain time. Walking the dog, getting everything ready. I'm running behind a little bit, but I will. I'm using my extra time. I gotta quit before I run out though. We got 1,270 miles to go. Divide that by 60, it's about 21 hours. Plus we need two more brakes, that's 40, 41 hours. And it's now 6.30 in the morning Eastern time, so 6.30 in the morning till 6.30 tomorrow is 24, to 6.30 Friday is 48. Minus an hour and a half, because you go up in time 6 a.m. That it puts you at 46 and a half. So you take 46 and a half minus 41. That's five and a half extra hours. So we're still good. But we need to get going because we're burning our extra hours.
fuel here because it's 284 or 294 over here. And I couldn't get this thing to pull up back where I was. So I wish, and I wish I would have been able to because I'd have filled out here at El Reno instead of this little tiny gloves. But anyway, the next closest place is out here in well the next cheapest place is out here in Effingham, Illinois. 285 out here. So it's 607 miles. Seven divided by eight point five. So we need about seventy-five gallons to get out there. We'll get about eighty because we were already in the yellow. That'll get us out there, and then we'll fill up out there. Here at the Joplin 44, we did 650 miles today. Let's see what time it is. It's like 7:52. All day we drove, and two thirds of the day we were going 60 miles an hour. And then at the end we did 65 to get over here. So now we have 620 miles to go. We gotta be there Friday at six o'clock in the morning. So we can take a tin here and go on, or we could we could take more than a tin because now we don't need two 10 hour breaks, we only need one. But I'll probably leave after just a tin and get as close as I can. What are you doing?
We tried to park over that loves over there. But it's tiny. I didn't know I didn't realize how small it was. I wouldn't even bother to go over there. Let's see. I only had two minutes left. When I was there. Yeah, it's about 11, 11 30. We're still over here to Joplin. We decided to flip the script and run at night because then we're for sure get over there on time. Because the other way, we only had two extra hours if we were going to take two. Yeah, if we were going to take a whole nother 10 hour break, we only had two extra hours. So this way we can leave here in a minute and we'll have like five or six extra hours. But anyway, they were tripping out, calling me on my phone and telling me to take it to Springfield to drop it because the customer was watching it. They didn't think I could make it on time. I knew they would do that, but I told them no. I planned it this way, so everything's good. And I wasn't dropping it at the yard. Right, Rue? About 1.30. We're fixing to go take our shower and get our food. Then head out before these people have a stroke. About where their, where their cucumbers are. My pickles.
rest area in the middle of uh, I-44. That over there is the westbound side. We've done about 230 miles so far. We got 395 miles to go. We've got to deliver by six o'clock in the morning. They were flipping out this morning because I was still over there. I guess the customer could see what I was doing. Come here. Okay. Anyway, they sent me like three messages. But I was asleep, so I didn't see them. One of them said something about what are you doing or can you make it on time or something like that. And the next one said drop it at the yard. And then line up will read, line up will redispatch it. And then the next one said you're you've been parked for over 15 hours. Is there a problem? Something. Then I got a phone call at 11 o'clock. 11 a.m. they called me. My fleet manager called me. I was like, no, there's no problem. I planned it this way. Because if I would have took, uh, took off right after my 10 was over, then tried to take another 10 hour break, I'd only had the eight, uh, two hours extra. So I figured it was just better to just do it the way I'm doing it now. I should be able to get there at three or four in the morning and be all good doesn't hurt the customer any the only one only thing only the only one being hurt is me because I'll, I'll be out of hours in the morning instead of having hours but anyway that was my thinking plus I was dead tired and didn't want to didn't really want to get up needed some extra sleep Bro.